Um, what is a test framework? So, you know, we're going to start really high level. We're going to take it back to the basics and bring everyone up to the same playing field. Uh, let's start up with the software development life cycle requirements. You know, requirements are kind of that starting foundation and the starting point of what do we want to make, uh, what do we need to make, and how should it behave. So it's really asking yourself, what do you need? What uh, is this going to need to be a, a form that needs to be filled out for a type of response, and how should that response behave? Um, and so requirements are really important, and it is important to, you know, take that time to actually think about it and really wrap your head around what is it exactly that you need. Yeah, and I mean, this is really the foundation of the test framework, right? I'm sure a lot of people are going, oh, no, I've seen this a hundred times. Uh, of course you have, but it's foundational. Um, and this is where the test framework starts to get built, as your application does. Um, so, you know, of course, you have to start with what do you want to make. Um, tests are making sure that what you make is what yeah. you wanted. And uh, defects are when what you make isn't quite what you wanted. For sure. Um, I remember in high school and college when I had to write an essay and they made me plan out my essay and I would always skip that step and be really frustrated. However, when I did it, it really paid off. So it is important to think about what you want to make and how it should behave. But of course, for anything that you make, you need to have some type of test. You want to make sure it works as stated in the requirements. Um, and your test can come in multiple ways. Um, so you'll probably have a test definition. Um, this might be one particular test. But then you might have a test set with multiple test definitions in them. And then there's this whole tricky component of environments. Where are you testing? What browser are you using? What operating system? So on and so forth. Now, most times you'll have multiple tests for a requirement, um, if not many and many tests for a requirement, and maybe even many test sets. Um, but it is important to, of course, make sure that your requirement is working as you hope it does. And if it doesn't work, as expected, you'll probably be led to uh, that nice little thing that uh, is called defects that we all try to avoid, but is uh, unfortunately inevitable. So this, of course, happens when your actual results do not meet your uh, expected results. Uh, we get that little nice defect uh, that will pop up, and then we have to trace it back through our test sets, our test definitions, and our um, all the way back to our requirements. So it is important to have this entire SDLC mind frame when you go um, into creating your test framework. So with that said, we should probably define a test framework. All right. We'll go into that next. Yeah, um, amazing. You would think I knew that slide was coming. <laughs> so you want to take this one, Jeff? I would. Um, okay. So what is an actual test framework? Well, we already touched on a piece of it, which is that it's how you relate your tests to the other items in your software development. Now, critically for, for the content of this uh, webinar, uh, this is not just test automation. That's the first thing people think of when they hear test framework. Um, but in reality, there's a lot more to your tests than automation. Test framework is a critical part. I'm sorry, your test automation is a critical part, um, but we actually separated that out to a different uh, webinar to go really in depth into automation. Uh, this is to go through the formation of the framework as a whole that the automation plugs into. And what are those characteristics of a good framework? It lets you rapidly create tests, so you get a lot of reusability. Again, more reusability in separating data from logic, and we'll go through a bunch of the different things you'll want to separate. And it provides a language, some kind of reporting structure for your application under test. And that language and reporting ties back into the beginning. How does this all relate to the other software development pieces?